What's up guys? Uh, so everyone was requesting me to make this video, so that's what I'm gonna do. Not like everybody, but like I, I said in my last video that I've, or in my stream, well I was streaming, I'm like, uh, if I get 12 likes I'll uh, release my pack, or not my pack, my uh, mod folder pack thing. And it got to 17 likes, so here it is. So we're gonna be starting with the five sig mod. So what that does is, see this up here? This is the what the five sig mod does. It's like an armor HUD, uh, not just that. It has a lot of things like uh, so. Say you're on Teamspeak with your friends, right? You click on F9. You click on F9 and it opens this. Say I'm in a Teamspeak server. Let me actually quickly get on my Teamspeak server. There we go. All right, Tony. Okay, so I'm on Teamspeak with Tony right now. Say what's up, Tony. What's up. All right, Tony. and uh, he's <laughs> he's gonna be showing off like Tony talk. No, I don't want to talk. See, see, that's pretty cool. Like, it works in this, and, that, like, I could switch channels Channel like that. Switched. So, yeah, I, I, that's pretty cool. And also, there's an overlay part. So, if I go into... You go into 5 Zigmod. Um, customize display. I'm, I'm stupid. And then you click on TeamSpeak. And then if you click on... Yeah, if you click on that, and then you go to... Back here, then settings. And then you go to location you can just drag this ar around on your screen say you want it right there it'll be there and then tony if you can talk again like unmute and talk yeah dude yeah that see it pops up there which is pretty cool like you there's all the settings i don't really know what to say about this stuff but you can like choose what kind of keyboard you have and you can customize the settings for it i don't have a chrome eraser keyboard so it doesn't work with me but it's fine for anybody that does. You can have you five zig cape, all these different options. See, like this turns that on the top off. You can change the scale, and yeah. So that's that's what that mod does. Next, we're gonna be talking about the perspective mod. I don't, actually don't know if I have that set to anything. But what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna we're gonna go into your settings, and then you're gonna find something called the toggle perspective it'll say perspective and then toggle perspective and then what you you just want to set this to anything i normally use i because i don't really like hot key to it but what this does is it's this mod it allows you to like go in this cool like cheat breaker f5 thing which i like a lot it's just really cool and yeah that's that mod it, it's it's cool for like if you do YouTube and stuff, you can just do that when, for your intro and stuff. All right, and we're going to move on to the next mod. All right, so next is the screenshot mod. What that does is when you take a screenshot, it'll pop up with these two things. Open automatically opens it in whatever program you use to open it. I personally use um, the uh, Windows Photo Opener thing. I don't know what it's called. but um, And then Upload. It, it'll bring up this, it'll say screenshot uploaded and copied, you open this, it'll go to a link, you copy the link, and then if you want to send that to somebody, you can, That that's what that does. And we'll move on to the next mod. Next we have 2Pi's chat toggler, uh, so what that does, if you type slash CT, or uh, sorry, TC, you can change it so tony if you could go on hypixel real quick so we can test this out tcpm see he is trying to spam me right now and it's not showing if i do this it's showing again if i do it again it's not showing if i do it again it is showing so that's how that works um and you could do that with party say you, there's a bunch of spam in the party and whoever party leader is won't mute party chat you could just hide it or TC mentions. So if somebody puts like Jaquistin in chat, uh, it won't pop up and it won't like give you that annoying ding. Next mod is Auto Tip by Skier. I'll credit everybody like who made the mod that I know of, like when I say it. So this is the Auto Tip mod by Skier. Basically, what this does is this allows like it. It basically makes you uh tip everybody that's online at a certain time like instead of having to type slash tip all it automatically does that for you so you don't have to tip well as you can see i'm mvp plus plus so i don't really need this mod but if you don't have it or like 
if it's going to run out or something soon. I really suggest getting this mod. It's really good. The next mod we're going to be looking at is the baddies coordinates mod. That's what you see up here. So basically what you can do with that is it like shows your coordinates and your FPS and stuff. So if you click your one key on your keyboard, like the, uh, on your numpad, it will change where this is on your screen. I personally like it up there, but that's just my preference. And if you click two on your numpad, your FPS will like change positions. Like, so it's like moving up and down there. And then if you click five, that, that, that does brings up this timer thing, which I actually don't know what the timer does and I don't really care. And then with this, you can move the FPS around depending on where you like it like that I like it there and yeah that's what that mod does and we'll move on to the next one all right well the next mod is the custom crosshair mod and what you do is the key next to one the tilde or whatever it's called whatever they call it in minecraft I'll show you where it is um, right here it's called grave but I call it a tilde tilde because that's what the other thing on it is and basically what this does is see my crosshair on screen right now like it, it normally would be different depending on what pack I'm using, but if I click enabled, like, it, it changes what the crosshair looks like, which I really like this mod because, like, whenever you change packs, it changes your crosshair. So you could get used to a crosshair on a certain pack and then be like, I just, I switch packs because this looks nice, but I hate the crosshair. Like, you could change the color and stuff, like, make it purple, whatever you want. I personally leave it on white just because it looks clean. And then like visit visible and hide GUI that would make it so that you can see it in this, which I like it off and just basic stuff like that. So like you could have a visible and stuff like that. Uh, you could do whatever you want with it. So that's pretty cool. And I like it a lot. And yeah, we're going to move on to the next mod. The next mod is the keystrokes mod. That's what this is in my left. If it's what's right here. So what if you type slash keystrokes mod? It'll come up with this. You can enable it, disable it. You can move it around in here. I personally like it right there. And uh, you can make it so that there's no mouse buttons and stuff like that. You can change the color. I personally like rainbow just because it looks nice. And yeah, that's what that mod, mod does. Like it'll show your CPS, your strokes of your keys. That, they, that sounds weird. Okay, and the next, then we'll move on to the next mod. The next mod is the mouse delay fix. Basically what that does is there was a huge glitch like when 1.8 came out that like 1.7 didn't have. So like it's something where like when you look at a certain block there's like a delay between like switching to what block you're looking at. I, it's hard to explain. That's the same as the Project L mod that's also going to be in the description that you can download. That's also in my mod folder. I don't know which one works. But I use both just in case, and yeah, that's what those mods do. It's kind of complicated. I don't really know it exactly, but yeah, that's what what that that's what that does. The next mod is the OOF mod. <laughs> yes. All right, I'll showcase that right now. So basically, anytime that you get a kill in Sky Wars or or a final kill in Bed Wars, it will play that Roblox OOF de OOF death sound. Somebody says two pie. Two pie is not here. But, uh, yeah, this mod was made by Refraction, if you want to sub to him, if you're not, he's, he's a pretty awesome YouTuber, you should, you should subscribe to him, it's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, if, here, I'll show that right now, not like I'm good enough to get a kill in this game, though. As you can see there, I just got a kill, it makes an oof sound, and it's pretty cool, I like it a lot. And I'm probably dead here. Just kidding, oh my god. Just kidding. And yeah, that's what that does, and that's really cool. And the next mod is Optifine, and I'm pretty sure everybody has this, but if you don't, um, it's basically what allows me to have this cape, and it just gives you a bunch more Minecraft options. Like, it gives you all this stuff. It's just, it's just like, way more detailed options, if that makes sense. Um... And, like change particles. I don't know if that's like a thing with not optifying and stuff like this. There's also shaders, so like if I want motion blur, right? I just click on motion blur, and then now I have motion blur, which looks really cool. 
but at the same time it lags my Minecraft a bit. Also, I could do shaders. Say you're really into shaders. You just do this. This is actually shaders and motion blur, which looks really cool. It's like really nice. So yeah, that's what Optifine does. And I'm pretty sure like everybody knows what Optifine is slash what it does. But if you don't, well, that was for you. Next, we're going to be getting into what the... <clears throat> Next, we're going to get into the Oranges 1.7 Animations mod. So if you type in slash animations config, you can change all this, like enable old block hitting. You know in like 1.7, you could block hit and it looked like really good. 1.8 messed up the animation. And I'm going to be showing off basically what it changes. <clears throat> it also, like, I'll, I'll just show you. <clears throat> so basically, it allows you to punch at the ground while hitting. It allows you to do that. It changes what the rod scale looks like. This just looks a lot better. And also, it changes what block hitting looks like. So, if I could get him away for a second. Enable old block hitting. If I turn it off, I don't know if that worked. It makes it look like this, which looks really stupid. See that? See that? That looks really stupid. <clears throat> so that's what that does. And yeah. Alright, next is Skier's level head, which is actually outdated in my client, but I'm going to change that. So basically what that does is, see this mod right here? See this mod right here? Uh, okay. Let me just do this. Um, once it'll load up. Should load up in a second. See how this person, see how it shows this person's level above their head? That's what that mod does. So if you type slash level head, you can change what it says. So like... On my old computer, which I had that set, but I just set it up for this one, because, like, I didn't customize anything. I had it set to 9-5 instead of level. You could change that. <clears throat> you could make how it's, like, chroma and stuff. I like it chroma, just because it looks nice. But you could, like, change what color it is. Like, in my opinion... Where is it? Um, that looks really nice, in my opinion. Like, if you don't like the chroma, which I like the chroma, so I'm going to put it on chroma. So, yeah, I think that looks really nice. And, yeah, that's what that mod does. It's just if you want to know what people's levels are, just to see, like, when you're fighting someone and stuff like that. The next mod is the Skiers Public Mod. So, if you type, if you click on, click Y on your keyboard, it'll bring up this. <clears throat> There's display settings. I have all this stuff off just because it doesn't look good in my opinion. But that's just my personal preference. Change all this if you want and whatever. But chat settings is where it comes into play with me. So if I type in guild chat, I'm the guild master. Which it actually doesn't work. So if I type slash, if I type that. <clears throat> guild master. Well, it, it, it's not working right now. I don't know why. But normally, like, when you type in, like, guild chat or something, it'll show something different. Like, for me, it'll say GC or GM. Jaquistin says whatever. And that's why I like it. It also has auto GG, which I know there's a separate mod, but I just use it in this because it's already implemented. Yeah, and you can download that if you want the auto GG mod. Yeah, that's basically all my mods. Like, I don't have that many mods. But what of the mods that I do have, I really like them. And yeah, if you want to download these mods, the links will be in the description. And yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.